the hydraulics that uh, run the liner actually are just run off of a basic hydraulic pump, a wet kit that's attached to the Kenworth. The liner can be opened with a tractor or a bobcat or, or anything that actually has hydraulics. Once the hydraulics are connected, jump in the truck and engage the hydraulic pump. During transportation, uh, the safety straps are on the, you know, the heavy steel sides of the liner of the barn, but um, you know, we take them off once uh, the hydraulics are engaged to hold everything up. And uh, it's a pretty quick process actually, the wrapping it up and, and setting it down as you'll see. sidewall are all attached, of course hinged. It's uh, kind of a three-part process. Uh, as you can see, the, the back part that's coming out right now is, in fact, the, uh, you know, the sidewall. And the V in the middle is the roof. There's a lot of torque on those rams, but uh, keep, uh, keep an eye on them and let everything down steady and level. They work pretty good. Sidewalls bear all the weight of the barn when it's unhooked and set up, so they have to be lined up. And once that's done, you set the roof down, and all the weight's there. Once the main portion of the frame is set up, we start uh, pulling the horses down and because the actual partitions uh, are still in the liner as you see. The back part of the partitions are just thick rubber matting that stands in between the horses when they ship. The front part of the partitions, um, you know, is just metal tubing and you obviously store that underneath the liner. Just go up. 
The rubber matting is just hooked to the steel, and that way the horses can't kick at each other and stand in their stalls. Once the stalls are up, bring out the horses and uh, tie them in. Basically, uh, of course, we have to bed the stalls and get the feed ready, but uh, that's the liner.